What up, Snip? Can you hear me? Boop. Quiet. Yeah, it takes this mic a minute to warm up. This is the uh, 10 minute loading screen for Atlas. It should be taking a while to load. Still never. Hold on, let me fix my mic. What about now? Can you hear me now? We good? Slightly better. Oh, that's better than not better at all. What about now? Is that any better? Here you go, Cass. Sorry, y'all, if this shit takes forever right there. We almost there. Almost there. What's up, Pencil? Raymond, what are you doing? Oh, that sucks. Can you move it? I can't get it to move. Because mine's dead. What about the charger? It's in there. Huh? <laughs> because you own it. Alright, you, you gonna bring it back? I'm on 19%. Time it wisely. You right? You better not. You better bring it back. Yeah, man. He's waking up. Alright, so this is like the the desert type area as you can see we're on this island up on the left we started in the middle and uh then we bought this boat right here called simping bought that bad boy And we are building that bad boy over there. I'll show it to you. It's pretty sweet. These are like uh, treasure maps and shit that wash up on shore, and sometimes some uh, dead shit will wash up on shore too. Like mantas and shit like that. Yeah, the boats are a hell of a lot better than ours. Kind of a bitch to get up on some stuff, though. Alright, so like, this concrete looking enclosure right here is a uh, shipyard. And you gotta unlock those to craft one. And once you craft it, you pick the boat that you want to build and like you'll select it and it just builds a shell like literally a shell of this fucking boat and then you've got to uh get these things right here they're called deck points let me see if i can show you This is a large boat. It's 
these planks right here, like some of them have uh, portholes for cannons and shit, and then other ones are just regular, which we put as many portholes that we could. You can see, like, it takes a shit ton. I think it's, um, 100,000, 125,000 of each resource thatch, metal, or not metal, but thatch, fiber, and wood, and then, like, uh, 3,000 metal just the sides of the boat. And then you've got to make the deck, which they're not too, too bad, but they're still kind of a bitch. But, like, this is a whole deck board right here. It's just this little section, and then this little section. And then this section goes all the way across. And you've got this bottom section. You can go into here. Those are all the cannons. And... Oh, shit. I can't get no. Go all the way down to the bottom. So there's like uh, a couple subfloors to this shit, and you can actually go into the bottom of the boat, which is normally like a place where you can't build anything. And I put up walls, and then you can see the bottoms of the feet for these ceiling foundations for whatever reason they have those. I don't know, but um, yeah, you can just put those up, and you can have a whole other platform down here. Which I thought was pretty cool. I hope y'all can hear me talking because if you can't, it really sucks ass. But in order to like steer these bad boys, like you gotta have a person on each one of these masts. And you can see in the top right corner like the arrow going off the ship. Like you gotta turn these, that's the wind direction. So you gotta turn those into the wind. And um, yeah, that's basically how that works. I'll show you on the raft over here. Oh, and I built a um, this piece right here on the side, it's an extra piece for um, storage basically. And then on this side we got a little dinghy. This is going to be a little pee pee. That's going to be the name right there. And then the raft is a oh, little ding ding. And the raft is going to be a big ding ding with a big fit. And then the big ship was going to be called the Master Bader, but I named it. I got us put in HH. You can kind of see it there on the side because it made me pick a name and now I don't know how to rename it, so it's HH, I guess, I don't know. I might figure out how to change it. I'm gonna hop on this raft and see if I can't show y'all how this wind bullshit works. Alright, so the raft is just like the ones in Ark. I've added some water barrels on here that have collected zero fucking water. That sucks. Um, I'm gonna turn this. Uh, so I'm gonna turn around. Oh shit! Hopefully, we're gonna come up out of this boat in a second. There we go. Okay, so you can see how the sail's like in the wind right now. But if I turn it this way, it goes flat. That's how you get speed. You gotta be on the wind. But the ocean's pretty fucking cool. Like they did it way better on the ocean than they did on art. But the whole point of this little raft right here is because all the way down here is their only source of fucking water. 
because you can't drink the ocean water like you can on the Ark and like stay hydrated. So if you're running out of water, you gotta go all the way this way, which we was running it, which really sucked. But every island has like one of these little um, watering hole type areas. I guess. And they got this weird looking statue thing. Oh, and as you can see, like, their tools mount on their body. So, like, all the shit you have equipped just mounts right up there, which I thought was cool as hell. But this is the only fresh water that you got, this little pond. So every time you need water, you gotta come to this shit. Which we're not gonna stay on this island, and the next one we go to, we're gonna find the water first and just... ...build next to it, because, you know, it's a smart thing to do. And then in the distance, you can kind of see, like, a... I don't know what the hell that is, like a shipyard kind of thing. They have like NPCs in this game. That can sell you stuff and stuff like that. Oh, oh shit, I ain't got no ammo. Damn it. I was gonna show y'all how that works. The sword kind of sucks. It's slow as shit. have some like special things you can do there, like special little commands. But the sword slow as hell. And then this is your sap source, just a random ass beehive, but there's no bees that come out at you. Which I guess is a good thing. I have to go back and get some ammo because like these are black powder guns, so you gotta reload these bitches and everything. It's a pain in the ass. I've got mine, my crafting and stuff up really high for my rifle, and it's still slow. Like, you can level up as you go and make it reload faster, but. Man, that hasn't really helped me out, man. What the hell? And this game's kind of broken a little bit, so sometimes shit don't work. I just kind of got to wait a minute for things to pop up. But anyways, yeah, it's, uh... Interesting. Oh, there we go. I think it's because I had my fist out. That's probably why I didn't work. Turn, no. And if you build a ship in the shipyard and you put it in too shallow of water, it'll break apart. So, that's something you might want to keep in mind if you ever play. Yeah, it's a much better version of the Arcraft. I don't know if you can build onto it though. I haven't tried. I would assume that you probably could. But, um, it's, uh, everything has weight limits. So that's something to be aware of. And if you let go of the cell, like, you're still gonna go. If I can just stand here and ride this shit. But you gotta have wind, because if the wind ain't blowing, your shit ain't gonna move. And the sharks and shit on here are big. Like, big, big. And there's dolphins that'll, like, pop up beside you and follow you. It's pretty cool.
You gotta be so close to shore to anchor up. As, as far I'm gonna get in there <laughs> with that shit. I haven't uh, done much sea exploring yet, so the only experience I had, I know there's there's ghost ships, and whenever Jimmy gets on, I'll try to get in the go with him. We'll go show that to you guys. But um, there are like pirate ghost ships that you can fight. What's up, 23? I remember you, bro. Alright, I need to get some ammo. Let's just transfer all this shit. It is really similar, really similar to art in a lot of ways. And everything you equip takes time before you can use it. Like if I take my gun off and put it back on, it um, takes so much time before I can actually use it. And you gotta put all these ladders and shit on here yourself. They have really high snap points. Which is convenient, but still kind of a bitch. Alright, so I'll show you reloading this gun. I like this little mini game. Oh, I missed it. But the faster you hit those, the faster it reloads, but it still takes a little while. And now you're ready to go. I don't know if I can walk out on this cell or not. I haven't tried. I might just fall. Yep, oh, yep, you fall through, I'm sure. Okay, well, that's a lesson learned. I use my gun underwater. Nope. Yeah, he's gonna play he's gonna be playing with us too, twenty-three. And if you see like on the lower right side, like you got your stamina, hunger, thirst and all that shit. At the top of that you have like these little multicolored bars. That's your vitamins, like you gotta have different fucking vitamins, which is kind of a bitch to maintain at first, because like certain things you eat will give you different vitamins, so like you have to have a balanced diet, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and then here's their, what their skills look like. You have all these different options up here, like survivalism, that unlocks certain shit. You kind of just got to go through and figure out what you want, but they split it up to like survivalism, construction, so this is where you learn how to build shit, and beast mastery for taming, hand to hand combat, melee weapons, ranged weapons, firearms, armor, medicine, which I haven't done shit in medicine yet, artillery, seamanship, Captaineering, which I really haven't looked much into this either. I don't know a lot of that shit. Cooking, music, and dance, which yeah, I haven't fucked with that. And piracy. And then quest skills, which I don't know what that shit is either. And company is like your tribe. 
I haven't looked through a lot of this shit, so. Take fruits. I don't know what any of that is right now. Uh, I have zero discoveries. Welcome to and then there's tutorials, which I haven't done any of this shit either. Of action and adventure. And I don't know how to, like, oh, there we go. So this is where we're at. Oh, wait, no, it's not. That is. This is where we're at. I guess this is where we're at. Okay, so we're down here. I thought we was up there. I guess I'm wrong. Hell, I don't know. Give me just a second. I'm gonna take a quick second to make a bottle for this baby as he's about to scream in my face. He had to get some shots today, so he's not a uh, happy camper right now. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. And he's eight months old today. And he is the size of a one year old, so there's that. Here, Tommy. Calm down. Okay. I guess we're here, which doesn't make any sense to me, because I'm pretty sure we left from here. Okay. No. Maybe we didn't. Hell, I don't know. Anyway. We're on one of those islands. There is something I want to try to make here. But yeah, those water barrels that was on um, that raft, they're supposed to collect water when it rains, but you've got to be in an area where it rains. This is Jimmy's monkey. She Something about using it to climb cliff sides. I ain't figured out how to change my view either, so. Let's see if we can climb this shit. When you got armor on, like this bitch be struggling to breathe. That's like a loud breathing. But it is pretty beneficial. Um, it just slows you way down. See you on that. Oh, okay, I haven't done this, so this is pretty fucking cool. I know. Stamina running out. Alright, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That's pretty fucking sweet. I don't know how I'm gonna get back down. But. I think I'm gonna fall back down. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, there we go. I guess you gotta find places to get off. Regain your stamina. That's stupid as shit. These are climbing picks, programmer. I haven't played Aberration, so I don't know what that looks like, but. My dude's hurting from something. Health level. He's a weak little bitch. Yeah, we got to die. Why don't your stamina regain? Like, 
fucking die out here. I'm definitely gonna die when I fall. My dude's definitely gonna fall. Shit. That's inconvenient. What happens if I keep going? Oh, I'm gonna knock myself out. Oh, damn. Oh well, if you're gonna die, you might as well go out like this, right? <laughs> Sweet. Oh yeah, there's this little glitch to you. Jimmy's attached to my feet somehow, I don't know how the fuck. Sounds like all oh, these fucking cells are open. Are we moving? No, oh, okay. And there are little things, little um, beacons for your body. I'm just going to drag Jimmy around all over the island until he falls off at some point. He will fall off. Put your fist away. Okay, and you can see the timer on my hotbar for like how long you gotta wait before you can use certain shit. These are metal rocks. They look like shiny rainbows and then there's specific rocks for coal and other shit like I think this is a coal rock let's see oh shit got the wrong thing equipped um metal picks You plug it up. Thank you. Oh, no, not close. Not close. It's not cold either. Shit. Yeah, please. I don't know what the hell coal rocks look like. I just need to be here. This is in this plant. Oh, oh. Oh. It's regular rock. Hell, I don't know. I just know there's coal rocks. Oh wait, that might be a coal rock. Yeah, so this is just coal. It looks like a regular ass fucking rock, yo. You would think like the ones with black spots on them would be cold like these. I guess that's just grass, never mind. Shit. This is metal. Oh no, it's plant, my bad. This is metal. Um, I don't know. Yeah, these turtles be. Yep, I'm just chilling. Uh, supposedly, programmer, I, I, everything I've seen said it was made by Wildcard, but on here it doesn't say 
that it was made by Wildcard. So I don't know. I'm I'm assuming they've had a hand in it just because of the similarities between this and Ark. I mean, it basically looks like a complete port from Ark with some modifications to shit. So I would assume that um, they've got a hand in it somewhere. I'll show y'all these. Think you can see how high you can put ladders. I'm gonna put a ladder on this fucking rock. Nope. Let's say you can stick them on those big ass cells. Snap points are pretty good. It's super similar to Ark. One thing that, um, the water thing is my biggest fucking pet peeve, bro. Yeah, shit. Alright, you gotta find, like, if you're thirsty, you gotta find an area with grass. Like actual grass, like this. And you crawl into this little area. And then dig, oh shit. To get a little water spout, you can drink water. I don't need water, but that's the quickest way to get water. Yeah, splat. I'm gonna tell you what the ocean on here is pretty. I'm, actually, I'm gonna just go jump in. Let me store all my shit in the box because I haven't done that yet because it's scary as fuck. So basically what what happened to me was I took that raft right there. Well, not that one in particular, but a raft just like that. When I first started playing by myself, and I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to just build a raft. I'm going to sail out to sea. I'm going to conquer this whole ass world. Well, in the middle of the ocean, like kind of like how Ark has like, those random drop drops or whatever. Those random chests that are out and like floating in the ocean that you can get loot from. Well, I seen one floating and I was like, I'm gonna hop off this raft because it was kind of a bitch to control the raft and get the shit. So I was like, I'm gonna hop off this raft, get that loot, and be good to go. Like I'm gonna get my shit, get back on my raft, store it up in my box and keep going. Well, I jumped off, and I got to the box, and as soon as I got to the box, um, a big-ass shark fucking ate me. And it, when I say a big-ass shark, I mean big. Uh, I think they have Moby Dick on this game, too. These big-ass whales and shit. You can see that we're on a shelf right here. Uh, I didn't drop my tools, which kind of sucks. I don't know how well I can see my oxygen depletion. You see that big ass fucking shark? Holy shit. Did you see that shit? Man, that motherfucker is big. Man, that's a hammerhead. That's just a regular ass shark, bro. Regular ass shark be that fucking big. I don't even want to see how big Moby Dick is on this game. That motherfucker is probably huge. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's the ocean. It's scary. 
I don't know if there's eels in this or not. I, we really haven't got to do a lot of animal related shit because we're trying to build this boat and um, get to a different place, but we wanted to build a big ass boat before we did that. But I did tame a pig and his name is Jimbo. Or something like that. This is, uh, this is Jim Bob the Pig. And he's got a little level up here. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. So I've been putting it all in weight. He's kind of a pig. Can't carry anything. It's about the useless, most useless pig in the world. But one cool thing that you can do is I can take Jim Bob up here and get him close to this boat. And then I can... Oh. Why, 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 why? I can move him onto the ship so like you can take your ship with you. I thought it was pretty cool. There's birds and shit on here. There you ass stuff too. And Jim Bob's not very agile, so he has shitty stuff. Charge his stamina. The boat that we have over there is the biggest one on the game. Uh, that was the first thing that I did was unlock the biggest boat that you can build, and that's what we've been building. But it's kind of been a bitch. Like all these trees on the whole front of this island have been depleted like three times. In the process of doing that. What the hell? Why is my pig got blowing red shit going on? Oh, I guess I'm gonna just come back out. I don't know. But there are bears and shit on here. Hey Jim Bob, just fucking follow me, bro. But yeah, monkey and pigs the only thing we've got. We did find a horse, but you gotta have a bola and. It's been a whole ass process trying to figure out how to make a bowl on this game. Don't ask me why, I just, uh, it has been. Nah, bro, the, the building limits on Arc Mobile are... Extremely low. I mean, you can't do anything on there. And your water areas on here will, um... Oh, they got torches around them. Like this, so at night time you can find them. But they won't drink unless you're actually submerged in the water. And then you get cold, which is a hole. Bitch thing that's in itself, but I'm going to head over to this little shipyard and show y'all what that looks like. I'll try to.
which we probably should have looked for this when we found this island first, but we didn't. Oh, and there are wild cats, but you're gonna have to fish. I don't have any fish right now. Okay, come back. You need to stay here. Hang out, bro. But every island supposedly has one of these, and you can come up to them, and you will always have a little pier that you can come to. And you can buy a basic boat from this guy. Well, craft one. You don't have to buy it, but if you craft it, he'll give it to you. I'm gonna take a cat. I don't have the shit to do that right now. And this guy will let you hire crew members, but you need gold coins. Um, I, don't, I don't know what the hell that is, but you can buy crew members like just basic ass people to run your boat for you. Or man your cells, etc. Cannons and shit like that, and you use them just like you do people. I did not know what some of the shit was here. Craft pool, cyclops, tame token. Put this magical artifact in your item slot and use it when the appropriate creature is near death to instantly bend that creature to your will. Huh. Well, that's cool as shit. A Drake tame token. 50,000 gold coins. That's not excessive. Fire elemental. Rock elemental. Okay, so yeah, there's some of the creatures. <laughs> some of the big ones, at least. Oh, uh, you can buy clothes. Mm. I need some gold in order to do this. Okay, but anyway. Ship cell skins. Craftable. Only be used on large cells. Huh. So you can make your cells look different. Um steering wheels. Damn! I'm about to upgrade. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, I guess for the front of your ship. Oh, that's badass! I can't read what that says because I'm fucking blind and it's too little. My biggest pet peeve was arc in general. Any arc type game. Alright, that's another cool little NPC. Uh, I wouldn't say it's cheating, and the reason I say that, if you're going to be a solo player, like let's say you wanted to play this but you didn't have people to play with you, or you didn't want nobody to play with you, you just wanted to play solo, you could not have anything really more than a, a tiny little boat without crew members, and that's why they implemented that, and I'll show you here in just a minute. Come on, pig boy. Let me get back to this boat and I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> like the raft, you steer the raft by that sail. I don't know if you was on here earlier when I showed you that. Um, but your sails always have to be in the wind to have any kind of speed, and there are, um, pirates and shit, like random shit that will chase you down and attack you. So, <laughs> if you're in a situation where you're the only man on a boat with, like, six sails, like that big one we're building, you're screwed, because there's no way... You're going to be able to run to all six of those sails and steer them all at the same time. And steer your rudder. That's a lot. Come on, Piggy. Slow as shit, boy.
Yeah, I'm surprised Matt didn't show up too. And I think he's got, I don't, I don't know what he's got going on. He might be babysitting something in the arc right now. What is this? An alpha seagull? Oh, if I had some bullets, I would shoot you. Yeah, he could be sleeping. Alright, so I'm going to show you how hard it is to, like, use these freaking boats. Alright. Alright, so you got a steering wheel, right? So, like, I can hop on this. And that big green anchor is just showing that the boat's anchored down, so I can't do anything. But this steering wheel, you can see on the... Well, I just lost my anchor, but... If I turn it real hard to the right, you see on the top right corner that yellow, uh... Rudder that's turning right and left? That's the only thing the steering wheel moves, is that rudder on the back. So... It ain't doing shit for you, it's not actually giving you any speed. Um... These have to be individually manned and turned. So you see the front one's not turning. So that's the only way to turn these sails. Is by having somebody on them or by doing it yourself. Which I mean a boat like this, you realistically you could do it by yourself. Uh, I mean you can steer and work two sails by yourself, but when you look at something like that over there, there's no way in hell that you can do that without NPCs. Plus, um, the big ship has 52 cannons on it. I mean, if you're in PvP, like a big PvP battle or something, uh, I mean, you can't work 52 cannons at the same damn time either. So, it just gives a realism aspect to it. Uh, but, I mean, if you've got a big server, and let's say you've got 30 people in your tribe or something like that, then yeah, I mean, you could have all 30 of them on this boat working cannons and shit and have a good time. Oh my god. I do that shit every time. I know I'm cold. Shut up. That is on me every time. So yeah, like, these are all the cannons, so if you're, I don't really use these yet. So this is what it looks like when you mount a cannon, which it has no ammo, so I can't do anything with it. You can open and close all these portholes individually. Open them up and see what like. And you have like um, commands when you're on a ship steering wheel, where you can tell the NPCs what to do. Like you can make them follow you around. You can make them man cannons on the uh, like on the beach. You have land cannons and stuff too. And then they have, um, they do have some shit on here that makes life easier, which I haven't got to use any of it yet, but they have, uh, farmhouses that you can build that'll, like, gather resources and shit for you, but they cost a lot of money to do. I want to see what all these cannons look like. Oh, damn. Every time I get in this water, I just think about that big-ass shark that was in it.
Yeah, that's what all the cannons look like, sticking out the side. And as you can see, we have a whole other row of cannons that we haven't been able to craft yet because they take a shit ton of resources. Yeah, you do have to pay the uh, the NPCs. Like they require gold, and you have to have a. Um, you can either individually go around and pay them, and if you don't pay them, like whenever they require payment, they'll just stop doing whatever they're supposed to be doing. So if you're in the middle of a battle with another ship and they're manning your sails, and you haven't paid them, they'll just stop, and you're you're screwed. You're gonna die. But um. You can have like a some kind of some kind of box, like a like a gold chest or whatever that they can. Uh, oh shit! 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 A gold chest that they can just automatically get into and get what they want out of it. Yeah, they'll they'll eventually just quit. Like they'll leave. You get like so many hours, kind of like when a dino untames or something. You get so many hours before it unclaims. That's basically what they do. They just uh, unclaim eventually, and you'll have to go back to another shipyard and get some new ones. You can also, um, if you defeat like a pirate ship, their people will fall in the water and go for the loot. And you can get down with some money in your pocket, and you can hire them for uh, for your boat. So that's another way to get people to work for you. But again, they still require payment. Uh, where is my common pike? I don't think. Maybe that is my pike. What the hell? Yeah, it's gotta be. It's fishing around. Climbing. I'm gonna put that pike back because I'm gonna use it. Actually, no. I might. Oh. Um, okay, that's all I need. But yeah, a lot of this shit up here is just up here. Because I needed uh, to use it for building this shit. What is this? This is tannery. Okay. Let's see if we can't... Okay, bulb. Fiber stone and thatch. I don't know if I have any stone. Shit. That's basically what it is, programmer. I mean, that's probably the best <laughs> description I could give it. Um, but we haven't really got to do any of the pirate shit yet. Just because uh, we we were scared. <laughs> we, we were on our way to this island. We passed, um, like... I think we passed three, there were like three pirate ships in a row. So we just turned ourselves into the wind and hauled ass. Because we didn't have guns, I mean, we didn't have nothing. Okay, do I have berries in here? I need vegetables. 
I'm probably need to get my armor out to you. Your fall control is also pretty limited on how much control you have. I haven't played uh, a lot of Assassin's Creed. I need to. I played it when it first came out years and years ago, but I never, uh, never really stayed into it after that. So I couldn't give you a good description <laughs> on whether that meets meets the bill. Um, I need... Damn it, bro. I need some fish, but I'm a little afraid to hop in this damn water. But I'm going to anyway. And like your long range stuff, like I had to swap my rifle out for that pike. Um, that's just a part of it. Like you can only wear what, or you can only equip what you wear on your body. So here's my plan. I'm gonna hop on this raft. And I'm gonna go try to tame one of these cats. From my understanding, all you need is fish. Well, I might be stuck. I don't know how to get off of this. Rip, that sucks, bro. You would think that I could go in reverse like that, but apparently not. Okay, well shit. We'll just leave that there and we'll go on foot, I guess. I'll let Jimmy figure that shit out. I ain't even gonna try to mess with that right And plate armor makes your guy extremely hot for some reason. I, mean, I guess it would normally, but. Uh, no. There is no way to drag it. You can only drag bodies and stuff like that. 
I mean, there's got to be a way to move it. I just don't know what that way is. I'll probably have to look it up later on. Let's see if Jimmy knows. He's usually... Oh yeah, we're about to get a cow. Okay, cow. Oh, I'm gonna get a fucking cow. That's what's up. I've got um, I've got the taming cranked up a little a little bit too on this little single player session, so it don't take as long. But when I tame that pig, it took a, it took a little while. It goes like four percent at a time on a pig, just on the regular settings. It's gonna be some good eating later, boys. Your little baby cows. We're gonna raise them up and we're gonna kill them. But first we gotta find a bull. <clears throat> Which the, the bull cows got big ass horns. I want that horse, bro, but I can't. We ha we see I've seen it twice and uh, I haven't seen it since. some music on the game too but I got it turned off because it's like arc you know you know that annoying ass adventure time music it's cool when you first play it and then after that it's like you know, I just need to cut that shit off alright what should I name the cow y'all I need a good cow name We need a name for the cow. <laughs> Bessie. All right, let's do it. Old Bessie. Equip an empty bucket in order to milk Bessie. Oh, shit. I think I got an empty bucket. Where's my bucket? I swear to God I had a bucket. Okay, don't have a bucket. I guess I need a saddle too, which is... shitty. I can also build carriages. Oh, come on, Bessie. Follow me. Let me get you back in here. Oh, yeah, you're a slow bitch. fucking know that I had a bucket, by the way. I don't know what I did with it, but I guess I'll put it back on the ship. I might have another one up here, though. What we're about to see. Come on, Bessie. be a bucket in here. Oh yeah, we got a bucket. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, put that on, okay. Harvest settings, what's that? Oh, nope. Access inventory. Let's put a bucket in you. Can I not put a bucket in? There we go. Oh, does it already have milk? Looks like a full bucket to me. I don't know about how, but okay. Okay, but how do I get the milk out? Oh shit! Let's see if it's got milk in the bucket. Bring no damn milk in that bucket. Oh, there we go. Okay, I definitely, definitely went. Nothing happened. Bessie, you didn't give me no damn milk. Traitor. Maybe because she- oh yeah it did! Holy shit! It just went in my inventory. Hell yeah, we got some milk! Well that is cool! I'm drinking your milk right now, Bessie, thank you. Alright. That was cool, let's put the bucket up. Alright, let's see if I can't figure out how to make a saddle. Skills. I'm assuming beast mastery. Breeding. Taming. See, here's carriage. We can learn how to make a tier 2 carriage saddle. Gives access to the crafting of carriages for transporting people and high ranking diplomats. Which is fucking cool. Tier 2 cargo saddles. Is that the kind of. I wonder if the saddle. I don't. I'm assuming they don't have. Like, specific. Saddles. Right? Is that. I guess I'd have to put like a carriage. Uh, damn it, I need to level up. Okay, anyways. You stay right there, Bessie. I'll get a cat. I don't know if you can, you can make cookies on here or not, Smitten, but if you can, I will find out. I've learned a lot of the cooking stuff on here, I just haven't made a lot of it because. We're kind of limited to this island because I'm hosting this server off of my Xbox, so it's um, wherever I go, it just kind of drags Jimmy in the middle of the ocean. So I usually don't go anywhere unless he's with me. And we've been trying to build this stupid ass boat, which is in the process. And from what I can tell, these watering holes are all, and they're all pretty much in the same exact spot on every island. Like you find the shipyard, and they're out to the right. They're somewhat close to that little shipyard up here, but not super duper close. Uh, it's pre-order right now for. Th I think it's on sale right now for 15 bucks actually. We had a we paid 30 bucks for it to pre-order. Um 
I don't know, last night it was on sale for 15 bucks on Xbox. But you, they have a free trial that is, uh, like, like three hours is all you get to play. But you get long enough on the trial to see if you want to play it or not. Oh, this motherfucker's on me. Shit. Mother... Oh, no, I'm first. Okay, I can deal with thirst. I'm gonna be sneaky. You fucking cat. Shit. I'll follow this damn cat around for 30 seconds. I don't think it's going to go up in price. It's in beta right now, so the pre-order is super cheap. But, um... When it comes out, they said it's going to go... I'm assuming it'll be $60 or more. And I'm making a big assumption that it's not going to full release until the new consoles come out, just because of the waiting time. It's insanely fucking high for this game. I can't see the damn team anymore. And the new consoles are supposed to have extremely fast loads, basically eliminating load screens. Which if they do for this game, I'll be very impressed, because it takes a full, probably three or four minutes just to get into the damn game. And that is no lie. It loads up forever. Cat, stop fucking moving, man. This shit doesn't even look like it's tame. Oh, fuck. I swear to god, if this cat's not going to tame, I'm going to be mad as shit. I um, think I'm going to go with PS5 Splat. The Series X has got better stats. Across the board, it's a better system, but... Um, uh, the PS5 has the games that I want to play, and right now every game that Xbox has announced for that Series X is also coming out on the Xbox One, which I already have, so I don't really see a point in getting the Series X right now. I'll get them both eventually, but uh, if, I can, if I can cop a PS5, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, Mr. Clean. I don't think this cat's taming. I, don't, I'm, I gotta be doing something wrong. He was looking at my ass. And... Hmm, he freaking is a bunch of me following Uh, now I gotta wait until it's hungry. Hold on a second. Ah, shit. Hold on, I'm trying to Google how to tame a cat in that. Okay, okay.
Oh, there it is. Alright, what's the name? Otis. Alright, deal. Hell yeah. Ho ho ho. I got a kitty on my shoulder. That's badass. We got a cat. Now we have to be killing a bunch of them. Might be hungry. Can I eat raw fish? I guess so. <laughs> Perfect. I wish they would have put bees on this game, which they, I mean they still might because it's in beta, but I feel like it'd be a fun aspect to add in here. Boom, puss puss. I got a big ass boat for you to live on, little kitty. Oh shit, my milk's spoiled. I haven't figured out how to preserve things very well yet either. I did get mauled by a bear though, right in this general area. That was yesterday. Depending on how many people we get to actually play this, I'm going to try to get a server and do a whole series from start to finish. But I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's pretty grindy to do anything on here, like anything big. I mean, you could build like small ships and stuff, like that one right there, you could build that pretty easily for like, you know, two or three players. But if you're going to build something like that, it has just taken us so fucking long. And I mean like, 100,000, 120,000 wood, I think. How do I get the fucking cat off of me? Oh yeah, just go yeah, for your fight. Alright, puss puss. Get the fuck off of me. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Shit, I don't know how to get the cat off. Damn. That is a oh, oh, man. Okay. I don't see anything in here. Dismount the damn cat. Alright, so I guess I'm just stuck with the cat on my damn shoulder. Welcome to I uh, shut up. Yeah, I don't know how to get it off. It's really weird. That's all the way all the way down. It just chills up there, don't matter what you do. Okay, what if I go in the water? You gotta come off of the water, right? Oh, God. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Huh. Um, 
I have no idea how to get this cat off of me. Shit, now I'm gonna have to look that up. Hold on. Get it out. What's up, Matt? Yeah, it can. If the cat will drink the milk. I hate some of the mechanics of this fuck of this game. Uh, behavior. Just read the following. Just chill right there. Can get that. Pretty good, man. How are you doing? Just trying to show some people how this uh, new Atlas game works. I'm going to try to grind up one level and see if I can't. Uh... See if I can't uh... learn some new skills. To have Make a saddle. Just up back in there. We thought you were sleeping, Matt. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. We're gonna get a damn manta. <clears throat> There's already been a dead manta that washed up on the shore, which was pretty cool. But, um... They're big as shit. The sharks on here are just intimidating, bro. Right? They're just so damn big. get resources kind of easy but a lot of stuff takes a lot more to actually get and some of the trees are glitched out on here where you can just like walk through them like they're What's up, Jim? I'm uh, just streaming some Atlas, bro. Killing some shit and taming some shit and. You know, you know how it goes. I kinda got burnt out on building that ship right now. It's got a little monotonous, bro.
Well, the ship is built. Uh, essentially. Uh, built. Well, I've got, I've got some cannons on it, like the first deck. And, um, we still have a whole nother deck of cannons to go. And then I've got, uh, yeah, I've got some shit on there, man, but it's, uh, it's ready to go. I just can't do it by myself. Hey, do you remember? Oh, we need a hard tack, don't we, to tame a parrot. I need some good food. Yeah, that's what's up. Get your ass back here, you seagull. Good sleep is always healthy. You got your audio included, Jim? Okay. <laughs> Do what? Alex got what? I'm about to uh, cut the stream here. We've been streaming an hour and a half. But uh, here is the plans for next stream. Uh, more than likely, we'll still be on this stupid island. And um, hopefully by then I'll have a saddle or something for this cow so y'all can check that out. And hopefully moving in, in the next stream. To, or at least traveling to find the... Uh, another island to hop on to and see what we can find but thank you guys for hanging out with me i appreciate it